She can give a good bite, let me tell you. Look how beautiful and big she's getting. She is. So this one's ready to run. Oh, he's with the magic Oh, well, he gotta get her fast. Dude, look at her. Look at her go. Fighting so hard. She is fighting real hard. What are you doing in here? Uh, oh, hi everyone. What's up, Matt? Um, so it's been really cold in Florida, and it looks like it's not going to be warming up for about a week, and that means sleepless nights, stress. <laughs> just freaking out, right? So I thought to be proactive. I'm like, you know what? Instead of stressing, I've decided to make some changes. Here are all the radiates and Cersei and all the, uh, the, the red foots are in their uh, enclosure over there. Um, we've got the empty buttercup habitat. That's where Slinky's gonna go for the week. Oh, wow, that'll be great. Yeah, I think so. I, I just, you know, the big deal is when you run into situations like this, Florida is not perfect. It's almost perfect. But during December, January, and February, you get these horrible cold snaps. So I thought, let's put up a shelf. Okay, this is what I'm doing. And, and Matt always giggles when uh, I get to work because <laughs> some of you have been following the good old channel for a long time know that I am not exactly the most accurate carpenter. But I get things done and it looks good when I'm done. That's all that matters. And it's functional. Often what do you do? Important. Yes, it, it's going to be the comfort of these animals. So I notice it's a little wobbly. I'm going to put a couple of like posts right here. Just screw a post in here, put it to the paver, maybe get an L bracket, and then tap con it into the paver, uh, and then it'll be a little bit more stable. We'll get another um, vision cage on top of these. And what I plan on doing is taking the Argus, the Blackthroats, um. Inky, they are gonna live in here. I'm even gonna try and get the Croc monitors inside because I just can't stand it. Now, this will be enough room for them to walk around. My big problem is when I have the croc monitors or some of the other monitors locked up, I feel bad because they're cooped up. Probably doesn't matter, but when you're getting on past a week of this kind of weather, I begin to think sometimes cooping them up, I don't know, the stress, maybe they'll get sick, I get worried. So we're gonna get um, a shelf over there, we're gonna get some more vision cages over there, the ones over here, and we're gonna have to round up the animals and make them comfortable. So I need mulch, I need the glass done. I got a lot of work to do, and that's what I'm up to today. So let's get to it, shall we? Oh yeah, measure. That's what I gotta do. I gotta cut some posts. This is a good day to get this done. Yeah, totally. Because uh, these foot deep puddles are so I'm going to cut this post in half. I think I can get away with just using one one of these. Um, what was the height? It was three foot. I need to cut it out, and these are just about yeah. six foot. So Perfect. I'll cut it at three and then cut the next one to fit. Uh, good times, man. I don't know. It's it's one of those things, you know, like, hey, get your protein shake there, buddy. <laughs> the, get your nutrients. Um, Where are you going to put in there? What's that? Who are you going to put in where? And you said the black throats. Well, yeah, I got to get the black throats. They, they can cohabitate. Like we've got these three vision cages left. Um, but I even have the vision cages from Custom Cages, of course. They've hooked me up. Uh, we've got the two really big uh, six foot cages in my uh, in my office. So I can just Brand leave them ones. in the office and bring a couple of the lizards in there. No big deal. So I think with all the, um, the, the vision cages from my friends over there at customcages.com, I'm covered. I, I can sleep at ease, you know, just bringing these animals in. So they've got to live in here. We even have, check this out, uh, Custom Cages sent me, little Mark Beavers at Custom Cages sent me a whole bunch of water dishes. So I'll have fresh water for these guys in there. They'll be in this. We're gonna get some cypress mulch. We're gonna get them some bedding. I'm probably gonna get some hay later on today and uh, throw hay for the tortoises. They can burrow into it. They can nestle into it and they can even nibble on it. So I wanna make these animals comfortable because we're getting into the low 40s for like four days in a row. That's devastating. I'm stressed on the Cayman too. I've got to, uh, I, you know, I'm gonna have to shut the pumps off. Okay, I'm gonna have to shut these pumps off and run well water through this. It's a large water feature. Um, I'm hoping that everyone's okay. If I can keep the water in the 60s, okay, even if it's the low 60s um, at night, that'll be a success. Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to get hands onto the Cayman uh, to move them. It's just, it's just not feasible. Uh, I have no place to put them. They have to bed down in here. These animals have survived many winters 
at Fred Grunwald's house, he would run his well water into them, uh, and they, they did fine. Also, dwarf and smooth run caiman are very robust and hardy animals. Let's go look at them. I'm trying to find one. Lucifer's not hanging around. You don't want to just see me talking. You want to see what I'm talking about and why I actually cannot really get hands on these guys to move them. Um, they're like little pit bulls, man. Uh, they will tear you up. But the cool thing is, is that they stay in the water when it's cold. That's what crocodilians do. My thing is keeping the water at a good temperature for, excuse me, pardon, <laughs> for, for a good temperature. You know what I mean? It's very, very important. What is the temperature of the well water that you're pumping in? 72 degrees roundabout. It might vary degree positive or negative. There's the female right there. She's kind of hanging right there. Yeah, yep. And so what will happen is, you know, I'll just go ahead and, you know, be flooding this. And let's see what the temps are here right now. 68 degrees in the water. Um, so they're going to stay in the water to stay comfortable. Um, there's the male. He's kind of looking yeah, like a log himself. He's over there. Also, always. we've got the Mata Mata. We've got the Amazon River Turtles. It might be... In the tubs. In tubs, it's possible. Here they are. Here's an Amazon river turtle right here. And then of course the Mata Mata we'll have to search for, he's over here. Uh, oh, by the yeah. way, we named him. The Mata Mata has a name. And I, I forgot the person who named it, but uh, maybe Tom will throw a graphic. Throw a graphic up, I forgot the dude's name who named it. It's a funny name. Um, but there's the Mata Mata. Oh yeah, there it is. See it hanging out so right there? Is that pretty uh, Can cryptic? you guys see that through the water? I hope that so, yeah, such there, you a, there you go. Yeah, that's uh -huh. awesome. So his name is Paul Giamatta Mata. This guy over here, Paul Giamatta Mata. Yeah, Paul Giamatta Mata. Nice. It, it's a pretty good name. Came from Paul and uh, Paul Giamatti. Good actor. So Paul Giamatta Mata is the name. And uh, yeah, cool. Shout out to That's Paul Giamatta. What's up, dude? Really loved you in John Adams. And uh, yeah, great. Show. Let's see. Uh, what was the other movie that I liked uh, with the Edward Burns guy? And it was a video. It was a, uh, they were con men. Come on. What's the name of that movie? I'm so good with movies, man. I'm the, the king of worthless information. Um, hold on. Ed Norton, Rachel Vice, Paul Giamatti. Da -da 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 -da, came out in the early 2000s. I'm gonna gasp when I hear the title because I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, it's it's like a con movie. It's the, Confidence. Confidence. Uh, I didn't even have to look at anything. It came to me. Confidence. Gotta have it. All right. Anyway, good movie. Those are my recommendations. The miniseries John Adams <laughs> and uh, That Confidence. is a great series. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. All right, so there we go. Um, that's what has to happen. So you can tell then I'm a bit stressed out. The other thing is, why am I gonna bring Slinky in? He's gotta heat his shelter. Problem is, sometimes Slinky decides, nah, you know, I think I wanna go outside. I don't know if that's how Slinky talks, but you know, I'm Slinky. I don't think he talks like that. <laughs> it's possible, um, I don't know. But Slinks, he might even be out right now, which today, not a good day. So you see, we, right, we, okay. we gotta link him up. So. Um, that's what I got to do. Uh, I'd rather sleep easy knowing that he is secured and safe and in a warm building. Especially after what you've risked. Exactly. Uh, especially after nearly losing Slinky to, you know, exposure from cold maybe three years ago now. Nuts. So anyway, I got to cut this uh, post. We're going to mess with that. We're going to do the old speed her up because you don't need to see all this old house this old reptile house do you that's an old <laughs> pbs show i'm dating myself friends but that's the thing you got a guy that spans the years 1974 to now so i'm going to give you all my info all pop culture references will be used in that time frame I, i'll be honest with you i even go back to like the 30s because you know i like the original king kong 1933 you know, God with the, the wind. There's some great films. There's some really great Casablanca of all the gin joints and all the world. Yes. She had to walk into mine. Yeah. There you go. Uh, anyway, uh, we're going to get this done, friends. Google's your friend if you want to learn some of the archaic things I'm talking about. We're going to go three foot. Bang, bang, boom. All right, speed this up. This is the beginning of a beautiful relationship. I'm hoping I can find in my junk stuff like some see i need one of these but in an l form shape of an l let's see what we got what the heck do we got a trip to the hardware store oh no 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 the goal is to never go to the hardware store i've got 20 years of nonsense in this warehouse and we're gonna use it all or what we'll do even more we can fashion our own. All I need is a simple couple of L brackets. Just a couple L brackets to keep 
this thing from moving along on that, uh, what is it called? Oh, on that way paper. Wall. So here's what we're gonna do, friends. Follow me. Let me show you what you can do. Hey, yo, what's up, guys? I'm back. It's me and my friend Matt. It's your Long Island, your Long Island guy. And we're gonna show you how we do things when you don't want to spend any money, all right? You know what I mean? Spending money on the animals. Get over here, stupid bike. All right, that bike's old. I don't care about that bike anyway. So what we're gonna do, you get your vice, yeah? Little vice. Everybody's gotta have a vice. I got two. All right, here we go. To bam, there you go, Johnny. That's how you do it up in the Long Island, man. So you got yourself an awesome L bracket. It's more like a U bracket, but whatever. Hey, yo, we're gonna do it again. Hey, yo. <laughs> this is my youth, man. This is how I used to talk before, you know, I got the marbles out of my mouth. I'm just kidding. I love everybody up in Long Island. And what's funny is I'm, what's funny is this is a very exaggerated Long Island accent. You know what I'm saying? But I think if I started talking like this, I, how, how do I talk? Is this right, Matt? It is not right. It's not right. I don't talk like that? It is when you answer the phone when your brother calls. Yes, exactly. Do you, uh, did you see that spittle come out of my mouth just now? <laughs> Let's see if you guys can pause it right on that. Anyway, we're making L brackets. How long do you realize you want to have two holes on each arm? Not just one. <laughs> just one hole's all you need, man. Look at that. That's an L bracket Perfect if I ever saw one. And, uh, <laughs> what? What are you talking about? That's what I'm saying, dude. <laughs> oh my God, help me. All right, guys. We just got Johnny. That's my name from Long Island. John of Christopher Watkins back. All right. You came for no, lizards, no, and this is what you get. This. I had a nightmare that accidentally we knock. If they break, we're done. Okay, let's go. Hold it. I need a tap con. We got that. We need this thing. Uh, luckily, I have one in the package. Did you, know. you measure both sides of these? You want to make them both three feet? No, not yet. Okay. I do not. I don't want to make them both three foot because... One's on a paver? Exactly. Well, it's just not three foot. Okay, here's my tack on. Here we go. Here we go. Now, do we use... Let's see which ones we're using here. Got to make sure I have all the proper stuff. I just love that I have a... I do have a mini hardware store here from all the... Yeah, I think that'll work. These two, these will go into the cement, and then we got screws out there that'll go into the wood. We're also gonna bring this and bring this, and I think I have all the proper uh, tools out there. I didn't realize we we're gonna roll on all this. This might be a channel changer. I don't know, maybe you're interested. Maybe you wanna see how I fumble along in life, because that's exactly what it is. Look, the tortoise is a tortling. Okay, here's what my thinking is. We're gonna do this. Oh no, it doesn't fit. Oh no, oh yeah, it does. And we want it uh, vertical. You know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? I can also sound like John Travolta. Guys, guys, check it out. No, it's, it's still so a bit of Christopher Walken. It is. There. All right, here, this, this I like though. We're gonna get the first screw straight down. Okay, okay. Go straight down. I think I can push this back and uh, get access to it. Okay. Now I should have a longer screw that's going to go. Maybe a couple of screws. So I got a couple of screws. So I might say I got some screws loose, but I disagree. All right. I just want maybe two and a half inches. Two and a half inches like this. I think that's going to do it. You guys just eagerly awaiting. I think I connected. You get another one in there. Okay, good. that's it. Now, oh, hey, uh, watch where you going, Timmy. Guys. Timmy's running away with the tools. These kids, these kids today. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do for my next trick, friends, we're gonna use this here. I can also talk like a 1920s gangster. What's in here, okay, do you see? Oh, no. These are the things we try to occupy you with when these guys aren't on screen. I know. It's it sucks when uh, the weather's like this, but you know what? It's pouring today. It's really yeah. raining. It just kind of stopped momentarily. Momentarily, yeah. yeah, yeah, it stopped. All right, so we got a hammer function on this drill, I believe. I want to see it. Yeah. 
Let's go. to do though is in addition to letting the bit do the work you blow on it <laughs> get some of that dust out of there because that dust will clog things and it won't be good and it'll take a long time <laughs> I think that's deep enough. How deep is your love? How deep is your love? And this thing fits, thank God. Cause I thought I had to walk back to the warehouse. But I don't. <laughs> I'm sorry, friends. I'm sorry, everybody. This is, this is the real canon. I'm a dork. Just so you know. What'd you think, I was cool? I'm not even recording this. I was just doing this to... Oh, really? Oh, yeah. All right, so... Nothing like you can see how dorky I am. All right, it's so... It's a strength. It's, it's a strength. It is a strength. It's a superpower. You know what I mean? So look, we're gonna get another one here, and another one here. And I would say that's straight. Now, if I were really, really, really anal, or OCD, probably should have said OCD, yeah. um, I would have taken this and put it into the middle. Do you think I should have? I think you're good. It, it's just fine, right? I mean, it's yeah. gonna stay. I mean, that, that paper has been there for a while. No, actually, oh, really? it's been just here just for it? now. I just oh, moved it. Anyway, um, we're gonna ignore that. <laughs> really, you might wanna speed this up now, buddy. Yeah. That's basically how Kennedy was killed. Yeah. Well, okay, so here we are. Uh, we've got our vision cages in here, thanks to customcages.com. We've got a nice steady platform. Does not really hinder the tortoises underneath. Right, um, over here too. Yeah, yeah, we've, we've got that all dialed. So, you know, this is secured. Um, it's just a matter of making things tortoise proof, right? We don't want any catastrophes, but the good news is even if they do knock these uh, posts, um, that's just a backup. That's just a little extra stability. Without those posts, this would still be standing just right. fine with the L brackets. Yeah. So um, I'm gonna go uh, get some mulch. We're gonna clean the glass. We're gonna put the mulch in here. We're gonna clean the glass, put the glass in. Uh, this whole, you know, what's great about this is the, the whole thing stays warm. Uh, so I'm not using as much power. I'll be able to shut off the individual heaters that are in their hide boxes. Um, so I can shut that down. Slinky will be in here. We'll have the other monitors in here. We'll get Colin in here, our snake. Uh, he can be in a tub um, with some mulch. And they're just gonna they're just gonna ride out the bad weather in here, man. And the best part is, is I won't be stressing waking up at three in the morning with a temp gun walking around. Although, to be perfectly honest, I probably still will do that. But um, yeah, we're just, uh, we're gonna keep this party going. What's up, you guys? Yeah, just talk? fully, I mean, yeah, insulated, I, I spray insulation. This years ago, uh, is in good shape. And um, I kinda like it. This is, you know, what had to happen after we removed the room that used to be in the large warehouse. Thank God. Uh, yeah, thank God, because that was just a, it was probably. This is better, let's just end it there. Yeah, okay, it was probably a health code violation or something, you know, with all the, probably had hantavirus in there with all the rats in there. Anyway, this is gonna be better. Um, I think this is a cool little reptile shed and good for per the inclement weather that we are having. Very soon. Okay, so we are back. We got some mulch. 
uh, I did make a call to my buddy Waco. Uh, they are rushing out some of the Reptobark, which is fantastic. I wish I had a bunch of that from Fluker. And uh, basically, uh, I got to wait on it. So I went and I bought some Cypress mulch. That'll be good enough bedding for these guys to get involved in here while we put them in today. Um, but we do have some Reptobark coming, which is really good stuff. So we got bales of hay, and right now I'm just cleaning the glass from the um, for the vision cages. So I just use Windex, it's glass. This glass is a replacement glass. So I had this cut at a local glazer. And uh, yeah, that's what we're doing right now. So I'm happy we are getting closer to being able to have some of the animals inside the new, the, the new cold weather environment. Is there anything else other than that? Maybe lights? What, what else would be necessary? We're not going to really worry about that. Um, I don't have, at this moment, I'm probably going to call my friend Josh, who you guys may remember from when he helped me with the electrical outlets. And I think we're going to put some fluorescent lights in the middle of the shed. And I would like to also be able to have some more outlets so that I could potentially have just some daylight. I wouldn't really worry about heat as we're going to have the heat from you know, we're gonna have that whole thing heated. I may even go buy a propane heater like Mark McCarthy uses. And so I might do that so I can heat the entire building uh, off of propane and not use electric. Um, my electric bills are crazy. They're over a thousand dollars every month. And I'm trying to find alternatives like solar and other ways that we can heat some of these sheds and some of these tortoise houses that I uh, have. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of these and uh, we'll get over to the mulch here in a moment. Okay, we got ourselves some stand-in for Reptobar. Just some mulch. It'll give them something to bet on. I'll probably wind up pulling this out when I do a change. And then I'll just go ahead and put the Reptobar in, but in the back. In a pinch, this works out good. It's, I got a good deal on it. But as far as cleanliness, I like the Repto Bark better. That ain't gonna work, buddy. You can't open that side. You're just gonna have to imagine what it looks like. <laughs> oh. Is the Repto Bark like a rubber product? It no, it's, it's, it's wood. Right. It is wood, okay. It's, wood, it yes. it's all natural. Okay. But Repto Bark will last yeah, longer. I, I only use natural stuff. I wouldn't want to do any rubberized, um, anything that they can ingest. Right, right, right. It would not be good. This is a little bit more challenging than I thought. You need a knife? I got it. Just throw that in there. Who do you think is going to go in this one? I don't know yet. Don't start asking <laughs> questions. I have no idea. He loves, he loves when I get ahead of schedule. Now, you can kind of see. It's very simple. I'll put a water dish in there, and then that's that. Come on, guys, so boost. There we go. All right. Moving right along. Okay, man, look at this. We've got hay, we've got the vision cages, the mulch is producing heat and humidity. That's why you're seeing it fog up a little bit. Um, we've got our heaters. Uh, let's go get some animals, man. Let's go right over here and let's get the two black throats so I don't have to stress on those guys at all. So we're gonna do that real quick. We're gonna come on in here. Now, they're, the reason I'm doing it, their heaters work, but the reason I wanna do this is I want, it's gonna be so cold, I wanna consolidate and make sure that it's easier for me when I come out at night. Now, the blue iguanas are gonna be fine. They have a nice heating, uh, heated situation in there. But these guys, you know, they can't stay locked in in this, so I want to. Open oh, it. Look at this. He's sleeping. This, huh? Yeah, he's sleeping on there. Let me get all up in there. I just got to grab them. These guys get cranky, but 
It is what it is. Hey guys, let's see. Just put one that up like this. Pick them up. Oh yeah. Oh I know. One as long as I don't take a bite. You doing one at a time? No, I'm gonna get them both at once. Nice. This is amazing. This is the double. Come here, buddy. Okay. Don't bite me. I've knock on wood. Have yet to be bitten. Now, can you do me a favor and shut that? No, no, no. Shut the the house. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. Are these two beautiful? Okay, you squirmers. Easy does it, boys. Look at the size. They are getting so big. And we have our... Um, I'm surprised they're actually being quite good. Well, this one is funny. This one is warm. He's trying to get out, but he's not He's fighting. warm as all get out. Uh, this one's a little cooler because it wasn't on the actual mat. So this one's ready to run. And the other ones are kind of not. So, okay. We're going to go back into the warehouse. So, Custom Cages is getting us a Suncatcher cage. It'll be coming after the... First, uh, let's go ahead and just put them in that one. Good. This Low one left. The bottom. Yeah. Let's do it. Watch out for Lower the turtles here. There you go, buddy. Don't bite me. Yeah, don't bite me either. So far, so good. No one's bitten me. It's so dark. It's dark, but it is what it is. Remember, it's just about keeping these guys happy. I can also hang, um, I can simply go. hang a towel, and that would cover this as well. So we're also gonna probably, I'm gonna have to think of a better thing, but I'm gonna get some jewel locks here later on. I'll roll to my local super center, hardware center. And uh, I'm gonna get some case locks for these so that they can't be opened, which would be good. Now, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get the Argus monitor out. I should probably put some gloves on because... Yes, you should. Every time you say this. Every time. He's, always. He's in that cave. Yeah. Um, so I've got to... Let's see if I've got... I think i got some work gloves somewhere right here. I think these will work. Since I'm going to be just jar okay. jutting my hand into it's just a hole in the ground. Let's make sure he's safe. Good job. All right. Again, this is a place, this is something that stresses me out because in the middle of the night, he can come out of here. Oh, I hear him, he's in there. Now it's nice and warm in there. But I'm gonna get down here and... Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's whipping. He's whipping, he's whipping. but he hasn't bitten me. He has not bitten me. So I appreciate that. Yeah. So I probably didn't need the gloves, but it's just safe. Look at that. Look at that big he's can, he's beautiful. Oh my God. He loves to just, he just does. make noise. He's he a, never bites. He's you. all show. Yeah. He's, he's, he's all good show. though. He doesn't bite. I'm glad he doesn't bite. He's an Can you guys hear that? Yeah. He is okay. awesome. Let me take a look at him in the daylight. Yeah. He just looks so good. We never see him out of there. Oh, he's so okay, big. Okay, squeak. Okay, <laughs> buddy. Okay, buddy. Here's the hardest animal to hold. Here, stop. Look let's up. let's go ahead and put him up in here. So let's slide that up. And again, they're gonna get water. Yeah. They're gonna make a mess of this place, but... Let's, let's get them all in and then we'll give them the water. Yeah, exactly, all right, he's good there. Oh, let's go get Inky. Where's, wait, Inky is now... Oh, here. Right, right, right. Oh yeah, of course, that's the new one. Yeah, the new Inky house. Hold on, I don't really need those with inks. I'll just grab her. But yeah, so now again, this just makes me feel a whole of a lot, hell of a lot better. Just pulling her in. Has she uh, been enjoying this? I yeah, she's visited. just been. She's just been actually staying. It's been so cool. She's been just staying in her uh, hive. So this will be good. I can shut off some of the heaters, keep them in. It is what it is. Let's see. I can just do this. Unplug it, and then we'll go in. We're not worried about it now. I got some. I don't ants. see her. She's inside the Yeah, yeah, the definitely. House. Okay. So what we'll do. Now she will bite. She is a biter. I actually should tell you. And look at all these ants. Oh yeah, dude. Oh, 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 I messed up. I messed up. I screwed it up. She will bite you. These ants suck. Oh, sorry, sorry. She'll stop screwing. She'll stop screwing. She can give a good bite, let me tell you. Yeah. Oh, you don't want to get bit by her. 
That's a girl. Oh, she's nice and warm. Is she? Oh, yeah, she's nice. She was wrapped in the heat pad when yeah, we got in was. there. Yeah, she was. Look, oh, she's such a whip. Look how beautiful and big she's getting. She is. In the Isn't she so awesome? Blue. Let's get some of these ants off of her. Oh my God, she's beautiful. Yeah. She's just getting bigger and bigger, guys. She's just trying to slap. Oh yeah, anything she's she can. God, but she's, she's, so she's calmed down she's a so bit. She's so black. She's not biting. So me. dark, so beautiful. The beautiful, tongue, beautiful. The tongue is so blue when it came out. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> she's gonna give you a good whip. Yeah. Oh, I That's love okay. you. Oh, every time I see her, I'm so psyched because we almost lost her, man. So this is great news. Okay, so let's see. Which one? Inks. This right far there, yeah. All right, let's here, try not to step on a tortoise. There goes Inky. Let's get her shut. You see her? She's like pitch black. Black as midnight, that one. All right, let me just. We'll wedge. get in here with a light once we give them water. Yeah, let me That'd just so much uh, better. wedge some more stuff in there. You know, some old bamboo pieces I have here. This is great, though. At least the warmth from this heater, it warms yeah. up the whole room. This insulation is. The bomb. It works so good. We were working in here before. I must have taken and put on this sweatshirt 10 times. Yeah, we can uh, we can make those locks a little better. Yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna go to Home Depot and grab the proper things. So what do we have left? We have one container over here. Yeah, what I think, Lulu up top. Lulu up top. And I think the two croc monitors down here. But we're not going to get the croc monitors today. I don't want anyone to get excited. Um, they're comfortable in their box at the moment. What I'll do is tomorrow when the sun comes out, I'll let them come out. It'll be cooler. They'll slow down. I'll grab them because can get messed up. But Lulu is going to be in a good position. I can grab her. Um, that box is insulated. They're good. In oh, there. they're fine. Yeah. And we're able to lock it so they can stay in there. Exactly. So we're going to get Lulu and then we're going to get Slinky. Okay, but I will need to use the gloves for Lulu. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do do the gloves with Lulu, but not those gloves, the proper gloves. The, the intense gloves. I don't know where I put them. I think they may be over by, I think they're actually over by the- You left them out. Monitors. Yeah, they're over here. But we'll grab her, she's in her box. But again, just gonna be easier to have them all in one spot. Let's go ahead over here. Yeah, these guys are locked in happily. And uh, that's important, you know. All right, so we're not taking these guys, we're just taking oh, yeah, gloves. Yeah. <laughs> All right. They are a-okay. Trust me, when I have to get those guys in, they do not like being picked up, but I do not like dead lizards, so yeah. they're gonna have to do with it. I've tried using the uh, food, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I'll tell you when it doesn't work, Food doesn't work when it's so mm -hmm. cold, they don't care about food. So. When it's like too late. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or, or even the daytime is not warm enough. It won't enough. motivate them to right. move. But this is, we're gonna have to be quick. Right. Shut that yep, door shut behind me. Okay. She'll be warm sitting on that heater. All right. And Just even at her there. size. I'm not opening it. Her claws. Here, you're gonna open. Yep, yep, yep. Go ahead. There she is. Look how big she is. I gotta get her fast. And I like my left hand here, and I like. Right oh God, her she gets her own mouth. Easy, got it. Easy. You got it. Yeah, I got it. Her tail's longer. Yeah, her tail's much longer. Okay. Tell me when you have a good hold. I won't open the door until you do. Look at her. She Look at her. She's fighting so hard. She is fighting real hard. Give her a minute. I want what I want to have happen is and that mouth is open. It is open. I want it, I don't want her to hurt herself with yeah, her own yeah, claws. Yeah. But yeah, she's just, you know, this is it. This she is what she's like right now. Oh, easy, sweetheart. It's okay, honey. I know, I know, sweetheart. But we're just doing this to like see. Like we said, we like live lizards, so this is all for you. Yep. But you guys can get a real good look at her glottis yeah, in there, Here, trachea. You can, real you can see the teeth, the bloody gums. Look at this. That's not. I mean, wow, look at that. It just open. Incredible. What's the tube that you just breathed? That's in? that's her glottis. That's that actually is. her trachea. Yeah, the glottis is so the little. Beautiful. The glottis is actually the. Um, what a great shot of her mouth. Isn't that beautiful? Look at this. See the bleeding it's gums. Always bleeding gums. Yeah. Because their teeth are so sharp, right? Right. 
Look at her, she's Look angry. at the claws on there. Oh claws. man, I feel them even through these welding gloves. Yes. Look at she wants my Oh my gosh. She wants my hand so bad. And you know, there are, you know, if, there are actually dog tame croc monitors. She is not that at the moment. <laughs> well, she's I don't doesn't care. want to move right now. I don't they? care, man. I I mean yeah, I just want her happy and healthy. Yeah. So oh, wow. we got this open. You got it open. Honey. She's upset at me. Hold the tail of these things. I don't want her to come back out on us. There we go. So she's a little settle upset. In, She'll yeah. settle in, guys. She's okay. Can we wedge the door just to make yeah, sure? Absolutely. I'm gonna hold it. You grab what you need. Yeah. Let me see. I, I really gotta make sure. Well, that was kind of cool. That was uh, her. She, she's interesting. Her mouth know. is. Uh, her I've never seen it so open for so long. Oh, she's angry. She'll calm down. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It's for her own safety. She's right there. Yeah, I just don't want her in any way to wedge this or. I don't know. This stuff's. I mean, I gotta get those. I'll try to get a light for later and when we go to put the water bowls in so we can see. Yeah. Because it's right. dark in there. That's, uh, that's something. Oh, uh, let's go get our big boy. Are we, is this all set to go in? Yeah. The Slinky buttercups. All set up. So this is awesome, man. Just not having to stress out. Huge. And have them all in one place. Yeah, it's neat. It's pretty good. Um, Plus, I still have the, the two custom cages, the two vision cages in the house. In the house. What's in there now? Nothing? Nothing. They're, they're empty. I mean, I could put the baby tortoises in there. Um, we can even get Colin in there. Oh, so, that's good news. I haven't seen this. Oh, here he is right here. He's oh, going to he make is. it He's easy. Right here. Oh, he looks, hey, buddy. He looks it's a freezing motivated. day. Yeah. <laughs> he must have just come out. What's up, bud? Come on, buddy. You yeah, got to come out. You want to come, come out? Come it's on, too cold, man. man. Too cold. Look at that tail. He's so. You're fine. It's so you're funny. Fine. He looks so happy. Yeah. Oh, he's warm. He just came out of his house. Yeah. Yeah. Look, he does not fight you at all. Oh, he God. just. Well, he, he'll think he's flying. He gets yeah. annoyed. <laughs> Man, he's big. He's, he's big, right? He is. He's a thick boy. He's now. a big. Slinky. Look at that, that big just... slinky. Look at him. He's flying. Flying slinky. Look, he thinks he's falling, so he's flattening he's out. He's the new. Uh... He's the new stand-in for the next Kong movie. Oh man, Godzilla. Godzilla movie. Boy. Look at him just flinging that tail. That tail is so big. Oh, yeah, he's heavy. This is awesome. It is. All right, I love Slinky, him so much. You can go ahead and open that. Yep, okay. I'm gonna get in here, actually. You go mind. ahead, yeah. Yeah. Let's get him up here. Yeah. Under the light. Yeah. There you go, Slinky. Where are you? Oh. He says, I smell a snake. Oh, yeah. We did a good job cleaning this, so. Yeah, it's yeah. good, man. What's up, Slink? Don't hit me with that thing. Oh my gosh. Look at him, he looks so is good. He beautiful? This is a great way to see him up here. Yeah. What's up, hon? Yeah, I don't want to get hit with that tail, so. Definitely not. No, it is. He is beautiful, though. I can't believe you're able to manhandle him like that. He really just is okay with it. He was Listen, fine with eventually, that. that's how the croc monitors will get. When the croc, when Slinky was as big as the crocs, um, he was just as ornery. But through years of just being in his enclosure, handling him, building trust, I mean, he was unhappy. But again, this is not a bad winter retreat, if you will. And it's only going to be for the longest a week. Yeah. Um, I'll just put them back out and we'll do a video getting everyone back out into their habitat. So in the 60s, you're comfortable having him with the heat pad. No, yes. you just check out. It's tonight. just when it's in the 40s. I yeah, don't want to yeah. stress out. If he decides to walk out in the middle of the night uh, and not come back in, that's terrible. You can really see the beauty of his colors in this light. Right. It's a little yellow on the GoPro guys, but he is lit up right now. He just Awesome lizard. Yeah. We've got our Fluker lamps with some Fluker Mercury Maker bulbs. Um, that'll come on a timer. We're gonna have the heat lamps. He would be able to walk around. I can I can get water into this tub for him. Yeah, so down here. Yeah, there's a tub down it. there. Yeah. You remember this from yeah. Yeah. this is where the black throats are gonna wind up, but for right now, this is a good spot for Slinky during the winter. <clears throat> so, Matt's, Matt's fingers look pretty good. He oh, thought he was sure. getting food. Good stuff, man. Yeah, look at these. Look at the. Nah, he's awesome. Look at the size of his talons, if you will. Yeah, that's. Those are you just can call them incredible. Them, yeah, I love that lizard, man. So, pretty much all the animals are now in good shape. Yep. And are safe, 
uh, preparing for this really cold, cold weather we're gonna have. So I'm, I'm excited, I'm happy about it. All that's left now is just to shut the doors in here, get some locks on these cages, and let the lizards be lizards, let them bed down, they'll just kind of relax. Water. Water, yeah, that's water. right. Get yeah. the water going. Yeah, let's go. This you just have to turn on, right? Yeah, that just, yeah, I'll turn just it on. It I'm not worried about him getting into water at the moment, um, but he'll be fine. So yeah, we're gonna go get one, two, three, four, uh, five water bowls, which I have, which is nice. So we'll just do that. And uh, that's it, friends. I mean, Slinky, Inky, excuse me. Bless slinky. you is Bless what you, you need. That's yeah. right. Slinky, Inky, no pink. Whip It, Devo, who else? Argy. Are all set. And Lulu. Whip it and Devo's what you settled on? I guess. <laughs> That's pretty accurate. They do try to whip us every single time. Look at my boy. Slink, you are so much fun every time. I'm not saying I don't love the other guys, but I do love you. He's awesome. Yeah. All right, everyone, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you like what you see and you want to see more, go on over to patreon.com slash camkennon for more content. Become a patron. Help support the channel. All right, everyone. We'll see you soon. Take care.